All right, a while back I bought one of these liquid transfer pumps, electric, runs on 2D batteries, and uh, uh, it worked great. I mean, really great for the first four or five times I tried it. The next thing I know, it was getting, a, it was getting fuel up in this part, and that's where the batteries are. So I uh, tried to take it back to Harbor Freight. He wouldn't take it back at the store. I'm supposed to call some number, and I guess maybe they call it hazardous waste because. It had, I had gas in it, but anyway, so then they wouldn't do that, I brought the thing back home, and I got to looking on it, and I couldn't, I couldn't really find any place that was, uh, I don't know how good you can see that, it's probably washed out, but there's a metal piece in here, and so I thought, well, maybe that screw is loose, I tightened it up, but it didn't help, so then I took, uh, I've already done this, but I'm going to take it back apart again so you can see there's a little screw right here. If I can get this rinky dinky screwdriver on it, I'm probably going to have to get that smaller, smaller screwdriver. Okay, it looks like it's coming out of there. And the uh, only thing that's for is to uh, make sure that this little plate don't turn in there. Let's see if I can find my little... Uh, I got a little dental pick. Here we go. Look at that screw out there where I don't lose it. There, there's that. Now underneath this thing, if I can get this to come loose, I'm pretty sure I can. I don't really want to move it too much. It might break the wires off. So they're flimsy wires. I guess the motor's down the bottom down in there. It works down this area. But what I discovered was, and I don't know if it's where you can see it or not, but I'm just going to get it just right. I don't know if you can see my, oh, that thing's right in the way again. Okay, move. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to break the wires off. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not. We'll try to get where you can, but there's a, there's a hole right here where the wires come up. And they had some kind of little gooky pucky on there. But it came loose. It was just floating up on top of this wire here. These little wires. And uh, it was obviously that was leaking. So I had some of this, uh, what I do with it. Anyway, it's here, this stuff. I don't know if it'll work or not. It's a plastic bond from J.B. Wells. And I mixed me up a concoction of that. And I used one of the wife's chopsticks. And I dropped that stuff. I don't know if you can see it. Probably gets as close as you can't see that thing. Drop that in that hole and clog that hole all up in there. I let it sit for, I actually sit overnight. And uh, that, I, it works in water. I guess it'll work with uh, gasoline. I don't know. But let me go ahead and put this back together and we'll get back with you in that here. You got the screw back in there and this little place back like it's supposed to be. It's really very simple to take it apart. I figured they probably glued it together so they couldn't do nothing. But they didn't. This piece here has got threads on it. It's got a little piece of metal runs down through here to make contact with this base plate. And the metal comes up the top. Anyway, you, you simply screw this on here. Like that. Get it down there pretty good. And there's that. And then uh, put your batteries in and they got to go uh, positive side down. Like that. What do we got here? This camera here, we've got a face like this for some reason. Everything's backwards, you know, you can't really see what you're doing. Now this piece goes on here, it's a little bit harder to get started, started right, but it goes on there. So. And then, you hear it run. Now here in a little bit, we'll go back in there, we'll go in the bathroom, I'll put the water on there. Put the water in the sand. I guess it's right pump some out of the pot, but I don't think it'll wipe the black it very good. But let me go in there and get some water in there because it has to be a little bit high. It can't be right on the very bottom, you know, which is probably good. Don't stuck up water that way. All right, get back in a little bit. Okie dokie. We're going to see how she works. There we go. 
really pump the air out of it. Oh, what? But anyway, that thing is just to cast pajamas with these uh, new uh, government regulation gas cans that, uh, you know, you can't get a good pour out of them spouts or nothing like that. So anyway, I thought maybe I'd let you know that they are fixable, I guess. Like I say, it works in water, but I haven't tried it in gas. I don't know if that um, glue I put on there is good for that or not. But anyway, I guess that's about it for now.